long shadows in the afternoon can only mean one thing. It's fall in Lubbock, Texas. It's early November. You can tell how far over the sun has gone up into the southern sky. During June, it's straight up and down, straight over the, the greenhouse. And now it's way over there. Well, we're about to have our first freeze. So it looks like I'm gonna have to harvest these and that and those pretty good considering it's November 8th and unfortunately I don't think these are gonna be anywhere near ready except for maybe this one by Tuesday of next week it's Saturday now come Tuesday some more up there come Tuesday we're supposed to get a freeze every morning for the rest of that week these might I feel bad, but it's just too big to move in indoors and too unruly. And I can't afford to get a heater, <laughs> so I'm just going to have to take them and see if fried green tomatoes are really that good. Look what I got today. <sighs> Turns out there's a firewood place just up the street from us. I would never noticed it before. This is mesquite wood. Look at that. All that mesquite wood. Looking forward. I'm gonna use mesquite wood on my turkey this year. Yeah, this is a little bit much admittedly to uh, for that, but I'll have some for a while. In fact, we're actually thinking about trying to fires in the fireplace this year, so none of it will go to waste. Why you say would I buy all this wood when I can actually go and buy something like this from Western Hickory? Well, the first thing they ever say when you go to one of those sites is don't use the bark. Well, as you can look down here and see, most everything is bark. I mean, all, most everything is all of its bark. I mean, that's the first thing you pull out, bark. So, there's an actual pretty good one. But, so these, these cost about a third of what those did. And yes, there's some bark on there, but <laughs> there's a lot more wood <laughs> than the, see, look at that, that's all bark and just a little bit of wood. Sorry, I keep thinking. That's all bark and just a little bit of wood. Well, that's all wood and a little bit of bark. <laughs> goes all the way over there. So, as I said, you pull that out, it's, little, it's... I admit I was hoping to get half mesquite and half oak, but uh, they actually wanted to sell me about three times this much. And I told them I was just for a smoky and I didn't need that much. And finally talked them down to this, a third the, the size for a, what I was thought was a rather reasonable price, so I didn't want to push my luck by saying, can we do half and half? So, uh, I'm gonna have some mesquite to cook with now. I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be buying a, a cheap turkey here pretty quick and showing you how to make a cheap turkey taste just as good as one of those $2.50 honeysuckle ones. So that's an upcoming video. Look what else I have. It's a butternut squash. I'm gonna cut this sucker half, smoke it, and make smoked butternut squash soup out of it. That's a future video as well. This is our newest addition to the plethora of cats that we already have. Don't need any more cats, but he showed up. He's half tame, half not. He's enjoying being out in the sun today. 
and just thought I'd show you a picture of them. Well, that's it for this little short edition today of the Gadget Gardener. I'm all excited. I have my wood. Now I just got to go sharpen my axe and start chipping me off some. <laughs>